Hi. Let's learn how to use the quantization function in Digital Performer. In this case, I have a drum uh, track that I recorded that is not quantized. If I play it back, you can hear how it doesn't line up with the click and with the rhythmic uh, grid. As you can hear, the bass drum and snare drum track was not played perfectly in time. And it can definitely benefit from the quantization function. To quantize in Digital Performer, first we have to choose a region. I can choose a region by clicking from the Arrange window, or for example, I can click and drag in the MIDI editor window. Once you select the region, simply press Command 0 to bring up the, quanti the quantized uh, window. Here, the first thing that you have to make sure is to choose what to quantize. In this case, I have it set to notes and sound bites. If you are quantizing only MIDI, events you can simply select notes leave it checked on attacks and don't change duration and don't quantize the releases now it's time to select the grid value the grid value should be equal or smaller than the smallest rhythmic subdivision that you played in this case i played uh, up to 16 notes so i'm going to leave it on 16 notes once you're ready, you simply click, up, uh, click Apply and you will see that the notes will line up with the grid. Now my part is quantized. Let's hear it. It's that simple. If I don't like the quantization, I can always press Command-0 and undo it. Now, let's see what happens if I choose the wrong quantization value. So I'm going to bring up my quantization window and I'm going to choose a quantization grid of quarter note, for example. Now let's see what happens if I quantize it this way. As you can see, all the notes have been moved to the closest quarter note and the sounding effect is definitely not what I was looking for. So I'm gonna undo and I'm gonna quantize it again in 16 note. As you can see, I have other tracks here. I have a hi-hat and cymbals. So what I'm going to do is to quantize each region. And um, I'm going to select the region, open up my quantization window, click apply, and I'm going to do it also for the symbols. Now let's listen to the full quantized part. What I just showed you is an offline way of quantization, meaning it's a permanent quantization that is applied to the events on uh, the region that I selected. Another way of quantizing in um, your uh, digital audio workstation and in DP especially, is a real-time quantization, which is applied as a filter to the MIDI events that are gonna be played by the sequencer. To do so, 
to apply um, real-time quantization. First thing, I'm going to open my channel strip so that I can see the inserts for my uh, MIDI track. Now clicking on a track is going to show me the channel strip for that particular track. In the channel strip, I can see the inserts for my MIDI track. By clicking on one of them, on one of the inserts, I can choose Quantize. This will bring up a window that looks very much like the one that we saw earlier. The difference is that this quantization settings are applied in real time and can and they can be changed at any time. So I'm going to choose my quantization value. The same rule applies here as we discussed earlier. And now when I play back my track, I will hear the notes quantized in real time. And I can change the filter in real time. So for example, if I pick a different quantization value, it's going to be applied right away. The advantage of this approach is that I can change it constantly at any time during my production. The drawback is that I can only apply one quantization settings and value per track. So if I want to assign two different settings, I will have to split the region on two different tracks. At the same time, I can use the same quantization settings on the other tracks. So for my hi-hat, I'm going to insert a quantization and I'm going to leave it on 16 notes. And same thing for the cymbal.